A common problem I hear all the time is, how do I add an authentication authorization system into my website? How do I use Nux.js with it? How do I use Vue.js with it? So today I am here to answer your questions and help you figure this out. Now, if you have the time to roll your own authentication authorization system, go for it. But if you want to use a tried and true system, I would use Amplify's Cognito authorization system. And today I'm gonna show you how to do that. And you get to use it with Nux, which which, by the way, Nux now supports server-side rendering, static site generation with Nux 3. As always, leave a comment below if you have any questions or you have any problems. I'd love to hear your suggestions on what you want to see next. I really appreciate it. All right, let's dive into the video and look at Nuxt and Amplify together. To begin, you'll need to have an AWS account. If you don't already have an AWS account, you can check a link in the description. There's an AWS free tier, which basically for a whole year, a bunch of services are free. And there's also some services that are free forever. And you can just go ahead and click on create a free account. After you do that, you'll sign into the console and you'll type in AWS Amplify, click on it. And this will bring up the AWS Amplify console. And this is where we can create new applications. We're gonna create a new app. We're gonna call, click build app. And this one we're gonna call auth demo YT for YouTube. And then this will just take a few moments and it'll create some infrastructure around this new application that we're gonna be using. All right, so you should see this screen right here where it says launch studio. Click the launch studio button and this will open up the interface that we'll be using to create our backend. Okay, so we have Amplify Studio open now. And on the left-hand side, there's a bar of a menu bar that has authentication data. So we're gonna click on authentication. And inside this authentication, this is where we're gonna be able to create our backend. It's gonna be using Cognito, and then we can choose what kind of login mechanism type we want. So email or phone. So I'm gonna leave it as email here. This is gonna be the login mechanism to log in. It will be email. I'm not gonna have any other login mechanisms. Now we can add in multi-factor authentication. I'm not gonna worry about that. For now, we're just gonna leave it like this and we're gonna deploy it. So this will just take a moment. Okay, so it finished and now it's giving me some information that I need to run in my terminal to pull down the application. And even gives me some instructions that I'll need to install Amplify CLI, which is the command line interface. If you look at the GitHub for it, you just need to run npm install tag g at aws slash CLI. I'm using node 16, but node 19 works too. You can use any newer version of node, it should be fine. Before we pull this app down, we really need to create our Nuxt app. Now, if you look at the official documentation for Nuxt, it recommends using npm nuxt init. So we're gonna do exactly that. So I have an empty folder here. I'm gonna run npm nuxt init. I'm gonna call it authyt nuxt view. Just some random name I just thought of. And it's gonna ask me to change directory to that folder. So I'll need to install two libraries. Uh, I'm gonna install this npm uh, AWS Amplify and the AWS Amplify UI view. And this will install all the dependencies we need, we need into our new Nuxt app. Great, so I went ahead and installed all the dependencies. You can see my node modules folder there. And now I'll need to do a little bit more configuration. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and open this folder up. Okay, great, I have the folder open. And now what I wanna do is I'm gonna create a new folder called plugins. And in this plugins folder, I'm gonna add a new file called amplify.ts. And this file is based on the plugin infrastructure that Nuxt uses. And this plugin is going to tell Nuxt, first it's gonna initialize our amplify, and it's also going to kind of get everything working. Uh, what I need to do is I'm gonna import define Nuxt plugin from app. And then uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm import in Amplify from AWS Amplify. And then this is, by the way, if you're kind of curious at why I'm typing this, this is all in the documentation too on the Nux documentation of how to create plugins. So I'm gonna call this define Nux plugin. It's going to have this uh, function here, this callback, and this is gonna call amplify.configure. This is gonna be passed in an object. And then just for simplicity's sake, we can use this provide pattern, and this allows us to have this auth, which we're also going to pull from here. 
and this is gonna be available throughout our app. So if we do dollar sign off, then it's the same thing as using this import in from AWS Amplify. Now, one thing we need to do is amplify.configure usually takes an object and this object is an AWS exports file. So this is where we're gonna need to actually grab and pull down the information. So first, if we go back to our demo, we need to use this command to pull the application into our app. And then on, in addition to that, we need to make sure that we have Amplify installed. So before this video started, I already ran these commands. You can do npm install tac g at AWS Amplify CLI and then Amplify configured. Amplify configured just attaches your Amplify CLI account to your console account so that way they're connected and, and you can pull things down. So I've already done that. Uh, now I just need to run this command, Amplify pull into the folder and then it should pull the new app that we just created inside here. Okay, so it actually is verifying that we are the owner of this application. Make sure when you run this command that you're still logged into the console and you just click yes here and it should authenticate and cool, it says I'm logged in. So now it should be retrieving the app that we just created. So this is interesting. I actually just got an error and it says this issue likely happens when the project has been pushed with a newer version of Amplify. So I have an older version of the Amplify CLI installed. So I'm going to click, I'm going to type in Amplify upgrade, upgrade to the latest version, and I'm gonna to try to do the pull again. So if this ever happens to you, then make sure you upgrade your Amplify to the latest version of the CLI. Okay, cool, so I upgraded it. I'm gonna try it again, run the pull, and see what happens. It's gonna make me verify again, click yes. Okay, cool, so let's see, ask us a few more questions this time. So I'm gonna choose Visual Studio Code, JavaScript. Now it's not detecting it because it's Nuxt, but I'll just choose View here. And uh, I'm just gonna hit, it's gonna ask where we wanna put everything. Uh, I'm just gonna leave it source and dist. Yeah, I'm just gonna hit enter all the way through and it should create all the folders that we need. Okay, cool. So it went ahead and pulled down the application. It created a new source folder and in source that source folder is where the AWS exports file is. I think for right now, I'm gonna leave it in that source folder. I, could, I guess I can move it to the root folder if I want. It doesn't really matter. But the next part is right here is I'm gonna have to import it in here. So I'm import, import AWS exports as a default import from. And after I import it in, I'm gonna do this AWS exports. I'm gonna save it. Now there's a couple more things to do. And by the way, don't worry about this little error here. It usually goes away after I restart VS Code. It's just a weird, weird quirk of VS Code and Nuxt. The next thing I'm gonna do is something I see all the time with people trying to set up with Nuxt and our AWS Amplify library is they forget to make the changes to the Nux config. So we need to go into the Nux config file. And right now it looks very empty. And we're going to add a couple of things. First, we need to add in an alias. And by the way, these directions are also inside our UI components. So if you go to ui.docs.amplify.aws, there's a whole view section on the authenticator. Okay, so we're gonna go to alias here and we're going to do dot runtime config. And then this is going to go to dot runtime config dot browser. And one thing you have to do is you have to add this vite in for this define. And you're gonna define window dot global and just have an empty string like this. And once again, this is just a little quirk with Nuxt and amplify, it's something you have to do, it just takes five seconds. And now we should be able to actually use the Amplify library inside our app. So uh, if I wanted to, I could go ahead and, I'll close this ESLint error. If I wanted to, I can go ahead and uh, create a whole pages folder and create some routes. If you haven't checked out, I did a whole video on Nuxt and routing. But I'm just gonna do everything inside this folder. I'm gonna do script setup, link TS. And I'll close this, this out. And what I wanna do here is import in the authenticator. So this is the library that I created, that we created here at Amplify to make it really easy to add authentication, authorization onto your app, and especially your view app, or Angular, or React, or React Native. So I'm gonna go here, I'm gonna do from or flutter. I'm um, gonna do AWS Amplify UI view. And then I need to import in some styles. So I'll do this AWS Amplify 
UI view styles.css. And let's say here, we're going to add in the authenticator. And I'm going to delete this Nux welcome. And we should be able to start. So I'm going to run yarn, or excuse me, npm run dev. And this should start the Nitro engine. And we'll try start on localhost 3000. All right, cool. So it looks like we're logged in. This looks good. Or we have our authenticator here. And so the way the authenticator works is anything between the opening and closing brackets of the authenticator will only show up if you're logged in. Now, if you wanted to, you could put this on its own page. We do have something called headless mode, which allows you to kind of, there's some hooks or composables that you can pull out to grab like signing in and signing out and things like that. The most important thing to realize though, is that you have to have the authenticator on the page to use your hooks or to use the composables and things like that. So uh, you can, there's, there's some ways you can handle this uh, if you have it in multiple routes. For this example, we'll just assume we wanna surround your whole app in the authenticator that way. Maybe it's like a dashboard and then you only have certain, you only want uh, people who are logged in to be able to use the dashboard. So after you get authenticated here, we have this template. In this template, I'm going to add a V slot and I'm gonna add in user and a sign out. And this will allow us to sign out. So I'm just do an H1 tag here. And we'll do hello user. I got a button, button. And in this button, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to add a click handler and it's just going to run this sign out. Cool. So now if this works, after I log in, I should see the sign out button and the hello. So I'll come back here. Now, since this is the first time I'm running this, I'll create a new account. I'll just use uh, an old email address. Okay, so I'm gonna click create account. It's gonna ask me if I want to verify my account, which I will, because we have to have two factor verification or email verification on each one of our accounts. So I'm gonna put in our confirmation code, confirm. So it's gonna log in and, oh, we got a whole bunch of data here and a sign out button at the bottom. So let's fix that. This should be user dot our username. Let's try this. Okay, that's our username. We have a bunch of information here. If we click sign out, we're signed out. Perfect. So now we have essentially created a Nuxt app with a the authenticator. It just take, took a few minutes to set that all up. And you can run this as a static site, gener uh, SSG static site generation, or you can use it server side rendered. You have all the uh, goodness of Nuxt. If this helped you guys out, leave a comment below. Let me know what you want me to do next. I really appreciate it. Thanks.